if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Hey friends, Shane from HowToRinch.com. I wanted to do an intro video to these horoscopes or endoscopes, if you will. And we got a brand new one here from uh, Vivor. We've been doing a lot of product reviews for this uh, company in the last year. And when they first told me that they had one, they wanted me to review. I said, no, I'm, I'm really happy with the one we have right now. So I just was like, no, I'm not interested. And, and then I looked at it a little more and I was like, oh, wait a second. This thing is handheld. And the reason that really caught my attention, I'm really hoping that this does everything we want it to do. And I know from looking so far, it'll take photos and recordings and whatnot. I probably better get an SD card. I gotta read the manual yet. But the main reason I wanted this one was so that I could quit using the phone. I'm holding my hand, my iPhone. I just, I don't like having my iPhone around or sitting around a lot of times when I'm working. I'm usually tucking it away in my little office in there. So I thought, well, that's super cool. And then it had a, a long scope on it, long cable for that. Obviously it's rechargeable. It came with the end tips and everything. I thought, wow, that might really be cool. As a creator, it's gonna be super cool because then I can record myself making recordings, which would be cool. But my last one, you saw me do a video on, just to be completely transparent, we were really happy with this. Uh, but it also did require a good Wi-Fi connection to connect to my phone you had to actually log into the Wi-Fi with this. So it was dependent on something else. If I understand this one correctly, it's just uh, a standalone product, which I really like that feature of it. it. means that I could just grab it and go, no problem. And just to really go back to the historic evolution of tools, and I know this was my second version of Snap-on scope here. I was so happy to get this one where it had a handle that was removable. So I could actually take this and keep the video screen separate like that was something that was super cool which is, is really one of the features i liked about this one was they were separate so you could just set your phone up sideways this one here we're gonna have to see if uh it makes sense that it's attached but the thing i love right away is the fact that it has this nice handle i have a feeling that i'm gonna maybe put some magnets on here or something so I could take and like, you know, just have it, you know, nice and magnetized on something if I wanted it. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to see what all this thing will do. But the reason I wanted to do, like I said, I, the, an intro video on this is what I want to know is what would you like to see? So far, what I plan on doing to show you like the quality and how to work, I'm going to go inside the DRZ here and we'll look down you know, through like a port on an engine. We'll see what kind of quality we can get from that. I pulled a bunch of bikes out of storage and on the 145 SNS motor, I want to pull a plug and look down the cylinder. That's probably the most common thing that I've used a scope for is to look inside an engine. Like, is this worth tearing apart? Is this something I want to mess with? So I already know I got plans to do that. The other thing that I'm going to do is I've got a broken window in my truck here and I've had a couple panels off. I, I know for sure I got the motor replaced that was bad, but I'm still having some problems. And what I want to do before I take off the door panel is that, oh, it'd be great to take the scope and take the switch out and then be able to get down in here and just kind of like poke around. You know what I'm saying? It'd be nice to be able to like see how far down I can get and look and see like, do I have a broke wire or something just to, kind of give me maybe a little visual before I take the whole panel off. And then last, but not least, holy smokes, this little guy is just kicking my behind. I got a mouse. And I'm sure he's living in this toolbox somewhere. And it is heart-wrenching to me that he chewed up my Hungarian Prop Tech tool bag and actually ate through the zipper and I just wasn't in the drawer enough on a daily basis to catch it. This is just one of my drawers where I have like a lot of scan tools, diagnostic tools, things like that. There's a lot of the prop tech stuff in here. But man, it sucks. So I have so far, you can actually see one of the mouse straps down there. I thought I sealed the box up enough, but I come in here the other day and then I found this. Do we have a mouse? Do we? Do we? Nope, we got nothing but I don't have any poop in there anymore either. So 
trying to catch this guy, see what I can do. But what I'm gonna be able to do with that scope is I'm gonna be able to sneak it back behind the drawer and kind of look around. Maybe there's an opening that I haven't noticed or haven't caught. And uh, that's what I wanna do. But anyway, like I said, this is just a quick little intro to say, hey, this video's coming. So before I go through and uh, do the final production, I thought I'd give you a voice to say, hey, can you show me what it'll do in this case or that? And if it makes sense, I will go ahead and try to record what that looks like. I don't know. Maybe somebody wants to see downside the exhaust of the 1098, right? I don't, I don't know. What do you want to see? Put in the comments below. Let me know. I'll do it, get the video made, and then we're gonna see how this thing turns out. As always, you know, we're gonna have links to purchase your own with a discount code for how to wrench fans. And then if I really like it, maybe I'll give one away. All right, cool. As always, my friends, like, share, subscribe, make it a great day. We're gonna get back at it. And as always, keep wrenching.